a welterweight matchup between Jorge Masvidal and the UFC Hall of Famer, BJ Penn. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Masvidal is five years the elder. He is two inches taller. He will have a four inch reach advantage. Here we go. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. And a right behind it. He's working out of that southpaw stance. Nice inside leg kick. Oh, how about the multiple strikes landing here? That is a serious offensive barrage. And he eats a right hand there. Good defense there. Nice straight there by Jorge Game Red Muscle. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Punches in bunches, timing. Oh! He's got him hurt here. There's a nice inside leg kick. Oh! What a leg kick! Nice. Oh! Oh! He hurt him! He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. here he's securing the arm clamps it down he's got to get that leg free and he's out and busy as he looks to improve position here both fighters get up now oh, nice judo toss for excellent movement on the ground here always trying to better his position back to the feet now Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Jorge Game Dread Masvidal. Good combination there by Penn. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Oh, nice. Well, he walked into his opponent. Oh! Another huge right! Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Look at that. He's got it locked up. Now he throws his leg over the shoulder. Beautiful job. Now he's in half guard. Moves back to full guard now. Excellent movement here on the ground. Nicely executed sweep, winds up in guard. Now he's in half guard. Oh, elbow to the head. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Oh, nice shot there. Nothing telegraphed about it, so he lands another takedown. They're starting to really pile up here, and his opponent can't see the entry. So, heady stuff here with the takedowns. We'll see if he can execute here now on the ground. Five minutes in the books. And there is the horn. He survives to see another round, but multiple knockdowns there. Big round from Masvidal. Total domination, and his opponent should be credited for getting through that round at all. He took some brutal shots. And here on... You're landing that left hook every time you throw it. I like to stick to your boxing. That's going to win the fight for you. Just keep setting up. Second round here. One two punch by Jorge Gangred Masvidal. Well, the prodigy. Oh! He got hurt very, very bad. Oh! 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 Trying to take the back here. Back up to his feet. Penn's lower jaw now, Joe, started to show some signs of swelling. That one hurt. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. Oh, wow. Oh, effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Penn. Oh, he landed a right hand. Well, he 
has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by P.J. Penn. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just reached the midway point of the foul. Oh, man. Trying to spin to the back. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. He tagged him. Moves to full guard. In half guard now. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Less than a minute to go in the round. That knee might have landed there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range oh, here in the bottom. arm triangle. He's got to get out of the half guard, separate the legs. Nicely done. Like well, remarkably, his opponent... Nice round, guys. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Third fight. round underway. Side control again. And he pummels out of it. So he lands another takedown here. And that has really been the narrative in this fight, Joe Rogan. Takedowns and bunches scoring a lot of points. And even when his opponent gets back to his feet, doesn't stay there for very long. And back up again. Showing that punch. He's teeing off with some good punches here. Oh, nice one. He hurt him. He's rocked. Joe, now let's see what he can do. And now trying to take the back. Two minutes and change to go in our third and final round. Penn's got the tie clinch, Joe. This could be trouble. He transitions oh. to the tie clinch. Wow! He's got him hurt here. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Keeping busy here in the clinch. Here's the shot. There's another takedown by B.J. Penn. He's looking to take the back. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. 
Back to over under control. Well, the prodigy gets the takedown. Now let's see if he chooses to pass here, Joe. 20 seconds left. It looks like he's got this submission. All right, so somehow, some way, he survives to hear that final horn, but he in all likelihood is not gonna have his hand raised here tonight. There should be a clear winner in this one. He knocked his opponent down multiple times in the fight, and you gotta think that's enough to get him the nod from the judges in this one. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 29-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Jorge David So Jorge Masvidal still getting it done. Nearly 50 fights into a pro career that dates all the way back to 2003. And this man knows how to celebrate, too. He embraces his American top team coaches there. Gamebred's always been a